Welcome along guys to another review. Now this is a probably not my usual review steed. This is the Suzuki Bergman which is like their practical commuter maxi scooter. This is a 400cc single about 30 horsepower you know two up on this obviously not learn illegal this is a you know a full motorcycle license to ride one of these bad boys but uh, i've been riding this for the last couple of weeks and using it as it's intended to be used you know so as a mode of transport a mode of lugging stuff you want to go somewhere in comfort dry you know with a bit of storage it's actually pretty much storage under the seat on this thing while well, we're stopped here Look under the seat, you've got you can fit two full-size crash helmets in there. You know, I, I've taken my bleeding kit around to Greg's house to bleed the brakes on Alex's race bike. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've, as I say, I've been using this as it was intended, as a, a mode of transport, and for that, it is very, very good. So you just don't see these things in the UK. Europe is full of these sorts of things. People buzzing around to and from work, you know. It's, it's a perfect mode of transport. Cheap to run. Relatively cheap to buy, £7,000. About 30 horsepower, I think about 218 kilos, something like that. But this is surprisingly good. So set yourselves down, get yourself a cup of something warm, and join me while we take the awesome Suzuki Bergman out for a spin. Chopsy, roll the intro. So, you know, you've got a proper display on here, speedo, proper rev counter. You've even got yourself a handbrake, of course, a handbrake. Cubby holes are plenty. One there, one here with a USB charger to charge your phone. Another one down here. Well, that's nice where you put the fuel in. And then, of course, that big, big load of storage under the seat. When you first jump on it, you're like, oh my word, what, what, uh, what, 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 it's no, uh, wait, hang on, there's no clutch. What, what brakes does what? But it's just like a push bike. Left is your rear brake, front is your right brake. Obviously it's got ABS, it's got switchable traction control. As I said, whether you need traction control with a 30 horsepower, 218 kilo scooter. Hmm, don't know, jury's out on that one. And then we've got a team of uh, litter collectors. Are they on community service? Or are they just serve in the community? Now I'm six foot two, you know, and I've still got plenty of room for my for my knees in front of my little cubby holes here. The dashboard's clear, easy to read. I like the fact that it's got a rev counter. You may not expect a rev counter on a scooter. It's all there for an easy scootery mode of transporty thing. I mean, if you lived in a city or you had to commute into a city, I mean, like, I, you know, this is the perfect sort of mode of transport. I mean, when you open the taps, it actually, it actually picks up pace reasonably, you know, faster than the car, way faster than the car, and you can just zip around on it, you know, really efficient as well. I guess this is the sort of vehicle which you think, well, yeah, that would be great as an electric vehicle. And, and I do agree, I mean, the scooters, these commuter vehicles, are the only sort of electric vehicle I, I would consider ever purchasing, you know, with the current technology. But the problem with having this sort of thing in electric, which I think BMW have one, don't they? It's like over £10,000, 11 or £12,000 for a scooter. I mean, you can get a nice small car for that, you know, a really nice small car for that. A low speed to balance it, it's really easy. This is my this is my H2 dropping junction. <laughs> this is where I drop my H2. I know, let's, let's not drop the Bergman as well. It's an awkward junction, I hate, I hate that junction. But open the taps and she, you know, it's, it's up to sort of 60 relatively quickly. I find the suspension good as well. You know, it's, it's not crashy. It's all it's all quite firmish. 
it's sort of a bit, almost a little bit of a sporty ride, but there's plenty of, it's plush enough, you know, it's not jarring. And you can hustle this, you know, you want to put a bit of pace through the twisties. It's actually quite rewarding and fun to go fast on, you know, more, more than you might think it would be. The riding position is nice. I mean, as I said, the seat is, does feel a little bit small. You know, I've got, I'm, I'm six foot two, 20 stone. I've got a big wide ass. The seat is really well padded, but it's, you know, it could be a little bit wider, would be my preference. And the actual pillion seat on this is higher than the rider's seat, which means I can't use any of that pillion space. I'd like to be able to move back a bit more, but I can't do that because it's, it's, it's a good five, six inches higher, the pillion seat, than the, the rider's seat. If I try and, you know, and it, I can, yeah, I'm riding like that if I want to sit up on the pillion seat. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, you know, if it just had a, a bench seat, which was all the same height as the rider, you could move back and you could move around and, you know, you could really do some distance on this, but you're a little bit locked in, which is a bit of a shame. It's nice where you can have your feet up on the boards here, you know, behind all the fairing. And you can even got boards at the front there, so you can put your legs forward and sort of brace yourself into it a little bit, a little bit. And that is actually really comfortable like that. Probably more comfortable than having your feet down here. And it sort of locks you, locks you into the bike a bit more. And if you're going to go a bit more spirited, I think that's the position because it does have quite a nice little backrest actually. So me saying if it had a bench seat, it would be better. It wouldn't mean it would mean you wouldn't be able to lock yourself in then because I'm locked in against that little there's a little like uh, backrest on the seat so I'm fully locked into that now which actually gives a nice feeling if you want if you do want to chuck it around a little bit because of course you would it's a motorcycle you want to have fun on it and you can do that it is it is fun to ride it's a fun machine there you go slow speed stuff again so yeah, you can balance the bike quite easily. It's all easy, all very, very, very easy. Come on, little Fiesta's holding us up. We've got the performance to go faster than this. What, what I find really amusing with this is because you don't see many of these sort of full motorbike sized scooters, so people are just not used to seeing a scooter do 60, 70 miles an hour. And they're just like, what, what's going on? And it is quite amusing <laughs> overtaking people on a scooter when you see their faces. They think, you know, this is a, scooters in the UK are sort of 30 miles an hour. You know, it, it's, you can ride them when you're, when you're 16. So you see a lot of kids riding around on 50cc scooters, you know, 30 miles an hour tops. People just aren't used to seeing a 60, 70, 80 mile an hour scooter in the UK. So I quite like that. that that's, that's fun. I don't know why in the UK people have just you know, a bit of a stigma attached to scooters, isn't it? I say if we were in Italy, everyone, you know, you see businessmen in suit and tie riding around on a on a scooter to work, you know, and it's cool. It's cool, they can pull it off. But in the UK. I'm not sure we're cool enough to pull off that scooter look, you know. <laughs> we should be there, we should be proud, we should embrace it. You know, it's a fantastic mode of transport. I mean, look at how capable this is. It's like, get out of my way, you Nissan note. You know, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and overtake him up here. You see, let's try and overtake this, this Nissan note. Let's go for it, go for it. We've got a clear road, we're not trying it unless we've got a very clear road. We don't. So, no overtake here now. We are having in a minute. I think in the UK we need to start embracing these sorts of vehicles a bit more. I don't know why you don't see more high capacity scooters in the UK. I mean, I say I've been surprised with this and if I had to get something to commute to work on, why not? Why not do it on something like this? It makes a lot of sense. If it was electric and cost £7,000, it would make a hell of a lot of sense. But even being petrol with 70 miles per gallon, it, it makes a lot of sense. Let's surprise some car drivers being overtaken by a scooter. 
Look at that overtaking ground. <laughs> Bloody hell, that's a quick scooter. That's what they're thinking. See, even like overtaking like this, if you if you were commuting in a car, you wouldn't be able to do this. You wouldn't be able to sneak past the cars. And this is sort of 50 mile an hour overtaking power here. Now, it's not too shabby. This is uphill here. You know, plenty of grunt just to slip past the cars at 50. And that is what this offers, you know, over commuting in a car. That, that flexibility and nimbleness and ease of passing. Who's next? Who's the next victim of the Bergman? This is quite uphill here now. This is, this is going to push push the overtaking ability of the burgers. Come on, you beauty! It's even with a 20 stone fatty uphill, it's still got enough grunt. I think we can slip in another one here on the Audi. Thank you very much. Do another. Hell yeah. Oh, the Mini Cooper's getting worried. He knows it's coming. He knows it's coming. He gets it in there. I'm having them both. I'm having them both. Look at that. Front of the pack. Many scalps claimed by the Bergman. And let's chuck it in here. Look around the corner. Oh, it's all so easy. It's all so easy. Eileen McCallipers, Olin's front suspension. Oh yeah, look at this. It may not have those things. Thinking about it. Back on the gas. Oh, on the rear brake. Rear brake, rear brake. Bring a little bit of front into play as we slide, ease it around the corner. Oh, we're out. Listen to it. Oh, we haven't quite made the lights. Oh, it's like a GP to work every day. Check your uh, sandwiches are still in place. Coffee and no cup holders. Could do with a cup holder. Suzuki, you're missing cup holders. Suzuki also offer a two year service plan, I think, with this bike. So you get free servicing for two years and a three year warranty. Now you can't argue with these things. There we go. You say, no, I don't want to sit in the traffic like you people in your cars. Look, we're, we're, we're going to scoot to the front of the queue. And we are, and we're out, we're done, we're in. Whoa! See? Brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> what a great little thing. What a great little thing. I'm going to have to beat this Range Rover to my right. I wanna, what is it? I don't know, it's one of those great big things. The builders have. Mark her off. That easy, easy doing with the lights look. No bother there. Dispatched with ease. Ready, 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 ready. Traffic light Grand Prix. I do, we've got the white van man. He's a bit slow off the lights there, but oh, easily does it. Easily does it. I can underberg when I could go under that. Scoot down a bit, limbo under. 70 miles an hour. Oh no, it's, it's only six and a half thousand revs at 70. And the eco light is even coming on. Ish. Trying to. There we go. Eco light, 65. Can I get the eco light on at 70? Now we are. Yeah, six and a half thousand. Yeah, eco light, almost. There we go. Eco light. What I like most about it is it, it's fun. It's got two wheels, it's still fun. And I think that is maybe what I wasn't expecting, this, this to be as much fun as this. And Greg's also been using this as well. We've both been using this just to potter back and forth on, you know, and it's just so easy to do that. And I love the fact you've got storage and it's, it's fun, you've got overtaking power. As I say, as a form of transport, 
it's right up there and I don't know why in the UK we don't see more of these sorts of large scooters like this people need to get out of their big tin boxes if they're just going to work on them, we'll go on something like this save themselves a bloody fortune as well